Hello friends, Justin Randolph, pastor of Zion Hill Baptist Church, Sevierville, Tennessee. I haven't made a video in, in quite some time, but I wanted to share uh, what uh, I've been looking at in God's Word and, and what God's Word has, has been sh uh, uh, speaking to me. Uh, it amazes me the parallels between the children of Israel, the people of Judah, and the two divided kingdoms and what's happening all around our world today. Human nature, you see, doesn't change. Uh, God doesn't change. And just like Israel was blessed, God has blessed this land that we live in today, America, but we have rejected him as God. And so I wonder today, how long will he continue to bless us? How long will our uh, uh, peace uh, remain in our land? As for, for me in my house, I, I, I pray that we follow the Lord and uh, that we may, our fear of him may be greater than our fear of this world. But friends, Isaiah saw in his day a similar problem. Uh, he said that in, in Isaiah 2 verse 8 that the land was full of idols and they bowed down to the works of their hands, to what their fingers have made. Uh, he said uh, that uh, their sin in, in chapter 3 verse 9, that their sin, that they parade their sin around like Sodom and they do not hide it. He said in chapter 5 verse 20, woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put dar darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. My friend, uh, it sounds just like today. Times are cyclical in that we see what happened before will happen again if we don't do something to stop it. These things were written for our learning. The book of Romans tells the Apostle Paul says these things are written beforehand were written for our learning, but have we learned from them? Have we, have we learned the lesson uh, of the past? For you see, friends, I don't believe uh, for a second that, that God delights in punishing us. I believe instead that God wants us to be with him, but he warns us of impending judgment. And God sent his prophets. Listen to what uh, uh, Isaiah uh, uh, said. Uh, he, 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 he warned the people of Israel uh, what was going to happen. Uh, he said their great houses, in Isaiah chapter 5, verse 9, would become desolate, their fine mansions left without occupants, that a 10-acre vineyard would provide only a bath of wine, a homer of seed, only an epith of grain. What's he talking about, friends? I believe he's talking about the same thing we see today. Listen to Isaiah chapter 7 uh, in verse 23, uh, well, verse 21 and following. In that day a man will keep alive a young cow and two goats, and because of the abundance of milk they give, he will, ha he will have courage to eat. All who remain in the land will eat courage and honey. In that day, listen, in that day, in every place where there were a thousand vines worth a thousand she silver shekels, there will only be briars and thorns. What's that talking about, friends? It's talking about food shortage. It's, it's talking about uh, a famine. It's talking about inflation, things not being worth what they used to be worth. Uh, and that's what it's talking about, friends. Now, it gets even more serious as we go to the prophet Isaiah, who's ministering at the same time. Time. Listen to what he said in Isaiah uh, in Amos 4 verse 10. Amos said uh, from, a word from the Lord, I sent plagues among you. I killed your young men with the sword. I filled your nostrils with the stench of your camps, yet you have not returned to me. You see, friends, God sends his word, uh, the Bible, and his prophets and his ministers, and he tries to get our attention, and he tries to get us to repent and to avoid the removal of his protective hand. Uh, but, but yet, will we listen? Uh, listen, friends, I believe today there is impending judgment. If we do not listen to the word of God, listen to what uh, happened to, to Israel uh, and, and, what, and then listen to what God wants us to do. Listen to what uh, happened to, to Israel. He says uh, that they're, um, um, verse 5 of chapter 5, now I will tell you what I'm going to do to my vineyard. I will take away its hedge and it will be destroyed. I'll break down its wall and it will be trampled. I'll make it a wasteland. Uh, neither prune nor cultivate in briars and thorns will grow there. I will command the clouds not to rain on it. Listen, friends, this is what God is doing. It's not what he's doing to us. It's what he's removed. He's removed his hedge of protection. He's broken down the wall. He's, he's neither pruned nor cultivated uh, in his church. That their briars and thorns are growing up. And listen, friends, we're in trouble if we do not heed his voice. So what's the answer, friends? Very quickly, Isaiah chapter 1 tells us, 
what he wants us to do. Isaiah 1, 16, wash and make yourselves clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong and learn to do right. Seek justice and encourage the oppressed. Defend the cause of the fatherless. Plead the cause of the widow. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Friends, the answer is found in the Lord Jesus Christ in accepting him and in believing in him, putting our faith and trust and what he did for us and then repenting and turning from our sins stop calling wrong right and right wrong and stop doing your evil deeds and turn back to the lord friends it's not too late but the hour draweth nigh when it'll become too late and as it did for the children of israel the warnings are out there impending doom and judgment is coming we must listen before it is too late these are the words of god not just to the children of israel and the people of judah but to us today let us heed them let us listen my friend god bless you today. I hope you have a good one.